Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Projects. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this part, um, well, in this episode, I am going to be reviewing Hunted, the Demon's Forge. So, let's just get into it. Um, Hunted, the Demon's Forge is an action game set in a kind of a dark fantasy world, and was developed by In Exile Entertainment and published by Bethesda, for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the Microsoft Windows platforms. It was released in 2011, if I'm not mistaken, so it's quite an... Well, it's kind of an older game, but it is one of the better RPGs that I have played um, in my, well, gaming life of RPGs. So, as far as the gameplay goes, the gameplay features a single player and a kind of a co-op multiplayer with online split screen and um, LAN options and features two playable characters, Elara and Catdoc. While Elara is able to use a bow and kind of a small weapons and is more of of a dexterity type character, Canock wields larger melee weapons and a crossbow, so it's kind of more of a strength type character. Um, players in the game have option to explore large areas and are able to use spells in combat. So, it is one of, it, it's kind of a classic hack and slash RPG game with not much options to to kind of develop your character such as the other classic RPGs like, I don't know, World of Warcraft or um, Dark Souls or everything where you can actually forge a path with a character and develop it as you like. While in this game you kind of have two classes which you can play and that's pretty much it. So. As far as the plot goes, um, Elara and Kadok are stuck in a in kind of a dark world in which Kadok um, had a vision about an artifact and they go searching for it, but the events throughout the game go out of hand and they, they come up, um, they become wrapped up in a chain of events involving the demon orc thingies, I think they're called Wargar, and a sorcerer uh, named Seraphine. So, as far as the graphics go, the graphics are quite good for an older game. They aren't, they aren't something to be really hyped about, um, but the main part of the game, as usual, is the story, because it is a really great story. It features um, long hours of gameplay. Actually, it's, a, it's quite a long game, so you can... You're probably gonna have to spend um, long hours um, getting through the game and um, finishing it completely. So yeah, as far as I said, as the graphics go, they aren't much to be. There isn't much to be said about the graphics. They are good. They are decent for a game that came out in 2011. So. Um, that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this review. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.